everybody. So I've been getting a lot of questions and I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support and the views. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been pouring since 2019. Um, my name is Denny Joe. that's my real name. And I'm from West Michigan. Um, some of my influences when I first started pouring, um, I watched a lot of Melly D and Julie Cutts and Sarah Mack, Waterfall Acrylics, Molly's Artistry, and Dwight Pours. So those are, um, I love watching them paint and I think I get a lot of my inspiration from watching them. Um, I also find joining Facebook groups really helpful and um, you know to find other inspiration and to get feedback on your paintings um, so if you're not in a Facebook group I would encourage doing that it's a great place uh, to be with your art um, <clears throat> so the main point of this video is to kind of go over some of the, the asked questions so far um, and I guess I will just start with kind of going over the tools that I use. Um, I get comments about the marble, you know, because I'm doing such a large painting that it must be a larger marble. Um, it's this. I, think, I can't remember if it's a three quarters inch or a one inch metal ball bearing. Um, but yeah, it is pretty big. Uh, and it's, it's got a, some weight to it, so it, it moves around through that paint pretty easily. Um, another tool that I use is this little squeeze bottle. Now this isn't like a condiment bottle. This is a cake decorating like icing bottle. Um, and the reason I use this is that it has this like really skinny, very small opening um, and it's really actually it's needed it's very helpful because the, 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 the opening of a condiment bottle when you pour it out it looks thin but it's not thin enough because when you tilt and it stretches it gets too wide so I had to start as thin as I could and this is what I found um, I got this at Michael's in the cake decorating section This is my primary medium, blood flow shawl. Um, I always make sure my my uh, surface is level. Uh, you want to make sure too that if you're using like a, so I'll show you what I used to use. Not, not with these paintings, but when I first started painting. I used to use one of these because it would elevate. But what ended up happening is there would be paint build up on it. And those little tiny bumps on it actually made it unlevel. So thought I was painting level and turns out I wasn't. So I stopped using that and now I know that my table is level and then I use cups, little uh, Dixie cups as my corners or hold up my corners and that way I know that it's level. Sometimes I even put the level on the top just to make sure that it's level before I start. Um, and then Rarely do I transfer my painting to another location after I paint. I just set it down and I leave it here to dry. This is my paint area, my painting area. Um, I use wooden sticks or popsicle sticks. And I use this to drip my paint. 
and I think dripping is better than squeezing or to make this effect. Um, I think if you squeeze, it gets too thick. This, this helps keep it thin. Um, I only mix it up in very small little batches because a little goes a very long way. This will last me probably two or three large paintings um, because I'm just, I'm just drizzling on just a little tiny bit and then it gets a lot of stretching. Uh, before I move on, I uh, want to get some feedback. So originally when I started this channel, I thought that I would mix in some tutorials of other styles as well. And now that this style, the ghosty marble style, is um, gaining popularity, I, I'm not sure if I should try to show you guys the other styles. So. Here's a couple that I, I like to do and I thought I would share, but I do cloudy straight pours. Uh, and then I'll run the marble through them. So I enjoy doing these. Uh, let me know if you would like to see a tutorial on how to mix and pour a cloudy straight pour. Um, I also like to do these. Um, and these are really fun. I don't know what to call them. They're kind of like sci-fi, outer spacey looking. And I get this from using Rain-X. Um, and the cool thing about this is it can use some of the more inexpensive paints that you would get at like Walmart, like the Apple Barrel brand and stuff, and still get a really cool effect. Um, so let me know if you would like to see a video, a tutorial on this. Uh, we'll just call this like the sci-fi Rain-X painting. Um, and then, let's see here. <laughs> Look at my notes. Uh, so I covered my inspiration, I covered my tools, I covered my medium. Um, okay, so I want to cover the name. So I got a lot of questions about if it was ghost paint. I was completely unaware that there was even a ghost brand of paint that existed. No, I do not use ghost, ghost brand paint. I do not use ghost brand paint. Ghost is a word that I use to describe the edges of the white, like the, the ghosty looking effect. So going forward, I think that I'm going to call it a ghosty marble pour, just to help avoid any confusion. Um, the primary paint that I use, which isn't any secret, it's in a lot of the cloud pours, is the Deco Art White Sand Enamel. So I think that that's what gives it the, the puffiness um, effect, and you'll see that that's, you know, the base, the magic in a cloud pour. Uh, so again, I don't have any secrets. I'm not going to disclose my exact recipe. It took me uh, a long time to figure it out. Uh, it probably, I think somebody could figure it out in, in a few weeks with trial and error. Um, so I, I'm not going to disclose that right now. It might be something I do d further down the uh, line but right now, I'm not ready to do that. Um, let's see, what else was I going to show you guys? Okay, so one of the other questions I get is if I have a website um, to purchase these paintings. Um, they aren't available yet. Um, no, I don't have a website yet. It is being worked on. Um, and part of the exciting thing about this is that you guys are kind of at the start of my journey, taking this to the next step. I've been <laughs> pouring in my basement for five years and now I'm trying to step out of it and kind of expose my art and see what happens. So um, I think my next steps, I'm gonna try to get uh, these paintings into a restaurant, 
um, here locally and maybe maybe have an art show but I'm not sure I have no idea if I'd be able to even get in um, but I I'm going to be taking those next steps so you guys I will get to share that with you um, <laughs> hopefully it goes well fingers crossed um, so that is all I wanted to share with you about the you know the questions I've received so far about this process um, if you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them in the future. And thank you so much for watching.